Should you buy this Amcrest webcam? Why or why not? Let's get into it. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Well, we talked about a webcam that I thought that you should absolutely not get unless you just needed it to technically work, even if the quality was really bad. Well, this one is better. Let me tell you a little bit about this Amcrest webcam. Well, first of all, it's 1080p. And I wanna tell you right off the bat, even though the Home Depot website says that it's Wi-Fi, it is not Wi-Fi. So far as I can tell by looking at the Amazon listing or the Amcrest website itself, it is not Wi-Fi. This camera plugs into your computer via USB and the nice thing is it doesn't even need any extra software. It's all built right into Windows 10. So you plug it in, it takes a few seconds, and that's about it. It pops it up, lets you know that it's done, and you're ready to go. One thing I like about this camera is that it has a privacy guard. So if you're worried at all about anyone being able to look at your webcam, all you have to do is flip the thing down and you're good. The camera has a clip that they claim will fit most monitors. And it also has quarter 20 thread on the bottom so you can mount it onto a tripod. So let me show you some side-by-side -side footage so you can see what the quality of this camera is like. This is using the selfie cam on my iPhone 12 Pro Max with the built-in microphone. It might look like I've changed the lighting, but I haven't. This is the built-in webcam on my HP Spectre laptop, along with the built-in microphone. This is the Amcrest webcam. This one looks a little bit darker, much like my iPhone but it is clearer than the built-in webcam on my laptop. It's just not as bright. So you can see that this webcam is darker than the built-in webcam on the laptop but I just think that the laptop is overexposed. You can see that the Amcrest webcam is more crisp, and it should be because it's 1080p as compared to 720. So overall, I would say that this camera is a win if you're looking to get started with YouTube or streaming or anything that you might need a camera for. I hope you found this video useful and interesting. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'd be happy to help any way that I can. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you next time. Webcam that I absolutely don't recommend. It was pretty terrible. The thing I like about this camera is that it has a privacy guard. So if you're worried at all about hackers or anyone being able to be... Uh, so let me show you side by side. So let me so let me show you some side by side footage. So let me show you some side by so let me so